So not only hitting her ears, but now she's doing something else. She's drooling. I love my cat, you know? Which is why they're doing it. Oh, sweetie. This. This has gone on for months now. They worse at night. They torture me at night worse. They torture Chris at night. And they don't just torture people. They also attack people in their sleep. You know, they're trying to cause cancer. They, I mean, that's, that's what they do. This is, it just goes on a lot. So if, if some, if I could ever get somebody to find these implants and if they could actually pull, pull up, I mean, I haven't even had anybody try to find them other than me. And if they pulled up identifying information from the implants, it would probably be linked to FBI, CIA, their global military files. The bands they operate on would probably be military or, or medical. There goes my radio Geiger counter alarm. What is going through people's minds that they just allow this to happen? The people that have the ability to do something about this is torture. Not just of an animal. Of me too. Of Chris was tortured. My daughter's been tortured. She didn't recognize it as torture. And I didn't at the time either. But now I know what it looks like. There's no justification for this. I don't know what she's suffering. And this is all, you know, I don't even know what they're, you know, what kind of pain she's feeling and what they're doing to her that I can't see. But I know something's going on because she's, you know, she's drinking too much water. She's salivating too much. She's having issues, right? She's lost weight. She's not as happy like she used to be. She doesn't purr much. She doesn't, and the thing about it is anytime she gets happy, rolls around or tries to have, a, tries to show that she's happy, the attacks start again. So, and sometimes even like just now, she was lying down and, and relatively peaceful when I came and talked to her. And as soon as I approached her, then they started to attack her again. So there's been this thing also where the attacks are connected with me showing affection to her. But it's just like, it's all the time now. I can't, it's not like I can do anything or not do something to control it. Sometimes... Sometimes the people who do this want to make me feel like if I do this or if I don't do this, I can somehow control the behavior of the, of the attackers, the torturers. But it doesn't really work. It doesn't really work for me, right? I, and, and, and besides that, why would I want to live that way? I'm not doing anything wrong. They don't have any right to do this.
phrase coming to me right now is global Republican files, FBI, but I mean, what is, what's that supposed to mean? It doesn't matter if the Republicans or the Democrats or anybody wants to do this or keep me here or keep me in prison. This is all illegal. This is patently, obviously, falsely, you know, false imprisonment. This is illegal. It doesn't matter how many politicians want it. It doesn't matter how many global leaders want it. It doesn't matter how many corporate entities want it. It's illegal, right? There's legal and there's illegal. Now, it doesn't mean that I have control over it necessarily, right? Because they put these things into my body and because of the corruption. But to but to say that this is okay and that this should be going on, it's illegal. It's corrupt. It's actually a threat to democracy. It is a dismantling of democracy, as I've said many times already. This is just a symptom of it. And it shouldn't be going on. The only people that can save democracy are the people within the democracy. I'm one, but I'm not the only one. It has to be more than that. And it really would help if some leaders who have the power to do something about this would do something about this. And I'm talking about the Secretary of State. I'm talking about the Attorney General, who I have less and less hope for. But, you know, I'm talking about people like that. They could they could stop this in a heartbeat. They could they could put an end to it immediately. There's no reason why they should. That's exactly what their job is to deal with stuff like this. And there's other people that could do something about it. Journalists. Doctors. Researchers. Um any one of that, you know, any one individual, any group from that group of people has the technological ability and the necessary equipment to bring this forward, to do something about it. The only thing that stops people is brainwashing, you know, and maybe fear and, and corruption, right? Being bribed, brainwashed and coerced but that's not very admirable. None of those things are admirable behaviors. Abusing humans and abusing pets in this way is not admirable. Covering it up is not admirable. Ignoring it when you know what's going on is not admirable. Participating in it is not admirable. And if, it, if these folks were exposed, if the crime were exposed, it would be much, much harder to continue it. This is something that thrives in darkness. There goes the radiation detector again, the radioactivity. Geiger counter. Researchers, doctors, journalists. There's a lot of all of those people around. And, you know, I'm just looking for somebody with some guts. And virtuous, right? Who, ethical. Who knows that sometimes you have to stand out, take a risk, go against the wave that go against the, you know, the grain when the grain is, you know, all going towards crime and the destruction of democracy. It takes, you know, a few people correctly positioned to go against that to make a change. I want her to be better. I want them to stop attacking her. I want her to have a chance to recover. I want to have a chance to have some quality time with Roxy before she dies. 